everybody, I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and today I'm going to show you how to brew organic red currant leaf tea. Now we brew, we have our own um, leaves that we grow. This is from our red currant bush, a couple of red currant bushes we have. And these have been dried for the winter. Um, they are organic, they have not been sprayed or anything like that. You can also pick up some of this tea in our store at shop.cookingwithkimberly.com. So make sure you get your orders in. Um, we have a ton of it and I'm going to show you how to brew it. Now we like to use an infusing teapot just so that it has a filter so that uh, you are not just have a whole bunch of leaves in the pot. I've boiled my water and I've let it sit for about five minutes. I want it to cool down slightly. I kind of treat our berry leaf teas as though they're like green teas and I don't want to scorch the leaves and make them very bitter. So in goes my red currant leaves and I'm going to just break them up slightly. I have them whole right now um, just to keep them as fresh and uh, together as possible while I'm storing them. But I'm just going to break them in there. You're probably looking at, I don't know, 10 or, or 15 leaves per cup that you want to brew. So just break them up in there. They will expand once they uh, have the boiling water on. So if you only have a certain amount of space in your infuser, just fill your infuser as much as you are able. A lot of people don't realize that you can also use the leaves of your berry bushes, many of them, not all of them, uh, but uh, they are also very healthy for you. Now these are full of antioxidants and red currant uh, leaves are also great for arthritis and gout. And that goes. Mmm, they smell good. All right, in goes my boiling water that's been sitting. And I'm just going to let this steep for roughly, I don't know, eight to 10 minutes. It's a mild tea. It's going to have a lovely mild flavor as well. So after eight to 10 minutes, you have this gorgeous golden colored brew, okay? And it's a mild flavor. It's quite earthy and a little bit, you know, like maybe grass or hay-ish, <laughs> a little bit green tea flavor, but it's beautiful. Uh, add sugar or honey or stevia or whatever it is you like to add, and one glass goes to mom. So you have this gorgeous pale golden um, color. It is very mild. It's a lovely herbal tea in replacement of, you know, uh, caffeinated tea. Maybe you don't want to drink caffeine before you go to bed. It's quite mild in that way. Hmm. I like it. Anyway, make sure that you check out shop.cookingwithkimberly.com and order some red currant leaf tea for yourself. Okay? Organic, um, completely no spray, and uh, quite a lot of health benefits that go along with this gorgeous tea. All right? Now you can always add dried currants or other fruit or even spices to this when you're brewing it to, uh, you know, to your own taste. Uh, it would be beautiful that way. Well, my mom has severe arthritis and she uses this in combination with her rotation of herbal teas to help counteract any of the, the um, symptoms from her osteo and rheumatoid arthritis. So it quite helps her with the inflammation and the pain. So that's how you brew organic red currant leaf tea. Make sure you check me out. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood TV at my.fossum.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly. You can find me on YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. I have a Roku channel, Cooking with Kimberly, and I'm also syndicated on Apple TV and a couple other places like Amazon. Come to my website at cookingwithkimberly.com and subscribe. Interact with us and let us know what's going on in your culinary world, all right? Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously.